Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can sort or order your data. So we can receive the data in any form like a vector or a data frame and most of the time to prepare the data set for the analysis and sometimes even for the front user we have to order the data in the right form that means if they're in ascending order or in descending order by a certain variable or a column. So to do that uh, we have Two different functions uh, which is order or sort within the R programming so let's first utilize the sort function so if you want to know more about sort you can put a question mark and as in help and write sort after this you will get the options so because sorting is present in two different packages it is asking whether you want me to take help from the base package or from the A rules so this sort we want it from the base package that we click on the base package one where you have the entire definition. So here we will utilize the sort on the vector. So I have a previous vector which is y where I have given some random values and uh, we want to sort it let's say in ascending order. So it's very simple we can write go ahead and specify sort and within parentheses we'll specify y and you will see now it is in ascending order the data is sorted in ascending order and if you want in descending order then we need to mention um, de decreasing is equals to true so now in this case it is in decreasing order or descending order so that's that's quickly about uh, how you can do a sort on the vector and uh, sometimes you need to sort uh, the entire data frame and you need to basically figure it out first on which column you need to uh, you know do the sorting or ordering so let's say we want to sort it on the mpg column and we will utilize in this case uh, the order function to get the order of the values either in ascending or descending so if i say um, mpg underscore order and i want to get utilize the order function and I want to get the order of uh, empty cars, which is data set, and we will utilize the MPG function. And if I'm not specifying anything else, then this means we want it in an ascending order. If I hit enter, so and we will see the value MPG underscore order. We will see what what is the output of this function MPG mpg underscore there was a spelling mistake mgp okay here in this case i have given the incorrect name so that's why it is not coming properly it's mgp instead of mpg so mgp underscore order so now you can see that uh, some order information has come which is different from the actual values so what they indicate that on 15th row for the 15th element you have the minimum value then again you're going on an ascending order then on 20th element you have the maximum value so if you want to sort it based on the value that we have got on the mpg underscore order then we will apply it on the data frame which is empty empty cars and here because we want to specify on this uh, on the rows uh, for this particular column we will say mpg mgp yeah that's a mistake we have done starting underscore order so once we do that what it basically says is that hey you go ahead and imply this mgp underscore order the order that you have got based on the mpg column on the rows of all the data set so once i do that and hit enter my data set is sorted based on the mpg value so 10.4 is the minimum then another 10.4 then in in the increasing order i am getting this information and the last one is 33.9 which is the maximum one so in this way i can get the order of any value here by utilizing the order function and then further uh, go ahead and uh, utilize it on the data set if i want it to do it on the uh, particular column for for that particular data set 
if we want it in a, uh, a de decreasing or descending order then you need to do the just opposite or specify the parameter then in this case mpg underscore order and i will write order empty cards dollar mpg to get its value and i would say decreasing is equals to true so in this case we'll get in descending order and if i go again empty cards and specify mpg underscore order for all the values now the first row will be the biggest row the biggest value that you will have in this case to it a corona 33.9 earlier it was the last value because earlier we were having it on the ascending order so that's how you can uh, use it on the ascending or descending order now many times the requirements can be that uh, you need to do the sorting on based on the multiple columns so for example on the mpg and cyl cylinder column if you want to have the sorting on that thing uh, or on that column then also you can uh, specify the ordering so for example um, order underscore mpg underscore cyl and again you will use the order function uh, straightforwardly and you will write uh, the first column name by which you want to sort so in here in this case empty cards dollar mpg and then another next column mpg dollar cyl so with that okay mp it could not find and okay that's where t cars all right now it's okay because i specified the column name instead of uh, data set so once it is there um, we can specify this mpg order underscore mpg underscore cyl in a data set so if i write empty cars and specify orders this for mpg cyl and then comma okay uh, orders o r d e r and no s once we are done all right so now we have the data set sorted by the mpg and cyl it will not be exactly the same but you can get an idea that based on these two columns uh, it is doing the sorting and based on the uh, best criteria of sorting it is giving you the output well you can compare it uh, by doing it in a, any spreadsheet like ms excel and uh, or what are the spreadsheet software that you are using try to compare the result and you will find the similar results so that's quickly i wanted to show you how you can do the uh, sorting or ordering of data uh, on one column or on multiple columns and how you can apply it on your data set so that's that's all i wanted to show you and i'll meet you in a new video with a new topic